Now, speaking of taking words and changing them into different things like emotions, you can do a lot of things with words or you can even scale down into the alphabet. So either in your mind or using paper and pen, think of a name for each letter of the alphabet. For example, my name's Anthony, so A equals Anthony. B equals Bonnie, C equals Connie, etc. And you don't have to make them rhyme, but as I've just done, Anthony, Bonnie, Connie, that is in itself an exercise. Donnie, what would we come up for with the name E? Elon Musk or Elani, etc. This will stretch your mind even further. So you can go to F. Frank would become Frank Govani, etc. And try to get through the alphabet. Fun game to play with yourself, with other people, etc. To see how fast you can go through it. Now you can also go through the alphabet and name only objects. So you can think of apple, ball, car, etc. And if you want to take that to the next level, have a person that you name to interact with each object of that same letter. So for example, Al Pacino accepts an apple. Hooah, what just happened? I was just dancing with my Android and now I got a new phone. Now we got also a verb in there with that same letter, A, A, A. Al Pacino accepts an apple. Batman bounces a ball. Cookie Monster cooks a car, etc. Now sure, things might get weird. Weird? Brother, this is downright supernatural. Hooah! That's why the exercise wakes up your brain. And you can take this exercise even further if you want to learn something called the peg word method and link that to a PAO system, all of which I teach in the Magnetic Memory Method Masterclass. <laughs>